The ICC have released the latest update to their annual test rankings and it's not a surprise that India are on top of that pile with 121 rating points. And it's not a surprise because while India did not play a lot of cricket in 2020 and 2021, the amount that they played, they played with some immense quality. First, that historic win in Australia, coming from behind after that defeat, that shocking defeat in the first test in Adelaide and the depleted side that India had by the end of the series, for them to come back and win that series 2-1 was something. Then they came home, played England, one of the top test sides in the world, and England beat India in the first test. For India to stage a comeback from there showed the kind of character, the kind of grit that this team has. India have now retained that top spot on the ICC Test Rankings for five years in a row. Yes, since 2017, no other team has been able to dethrone Virat Kohli's India from that top spot. And that speaks volumes about the kind of cricket that this team plays. And perhaps that is why they are in that World Test Championship final. In the last year though, India have also unearthed a Test Superstar, an unlikely Test Superstar in the form of Rishabh Pant, who turned the tables around for India on that Australia tour, emerging as India's highest run scorer in that series. Also, that knock, the first knock that he played in Sydney, and then that match winning knock at the Gabba, where India beat Australia and became the first team to do that in 32 years in a test match at the Gabba. And then for him to come home and play the kind of knocks that he did against England, scoring a century at Ahmedabad was something else. This also means that he has been propelled to number 6 in ICC's rankings for Test Batsmen, the highest ranking for any Indian wicketkeeper batsman in the history of the game. Another aspect that makes this Indian team so special is that pace attack. The pace attack that Virat Kohli has handpicked and the one that he has showed a lot of faith in. And they've repaid that faith and how bowling in every condition, bowling in all sorts of scenarios in Australia as we saw, India lost the services of Mohammad Shami, Umesh Yadav, and Jaspreet Bumrah as well and yet for the young Pacers, the second line of defence to come up and bowl like the way they did, the likes of Mohammad Siraj who also emerged as the top wicket taker for India in that series shows that India has a bank of pace bowlers who they can bank upon day in and day out and they've been instrumental to this success for this Indian team. The next hurdle in line for Team India is the World Test Championship final that they will play against New Zealand at Southampton starting June 18th and this perhaps might be their toughest test because these are the conditions that India found the most difficult to play in and these are also the conditions where New Zealand play their best game. So if India can win the World Test Championship final in those conditions, that will perhaps establish their dominance like nothing else. And being on top of the pile in the ICC Test Rankings will give a major boost to Team India, reminding them of the kind of performances they've put in in the process of reaching the World Test Championship final. Don't forget to share with us your favourite moments of India's rise this season. And as for all the updates, all the news, all the analysis, you know where to come, right here on Prigbaz. As for now, that's about it. My name is Tane Tiwari. Thank you so much for watching.